David, Lots. how are you, man? Good. How you doing? Thank you for, for joining me today. I pressed oh my for, God. Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. Thank you. We all can't wait for January 13th to roll around. <laughs> it also feels like it's been forever. I was just telling uh, another interview that was, it just feels like it's been forever since the premiere. It, it really does. It really does. I'm so excited for the world to see uh, this next chapter. Right. So I had the opportunity to watch the first uh, two episodes last night. I, mean, I love how it just picks right up. We got the action, the mystery, you know, the hunting. It's like, what are you hoping for when the fans return? Oh, season. my God. I, I, I'm so excited for people to watch. I think the season will offer, you know, great action, as you said, incredible humor, a uh, beautiful sort of story uh, and tale about uh, this band of, of others sort of coming together to find and hunt down uh, Adolf Hitler. And most of all, I, I, this season, I hope, really provides a sense of catharsis, a sense of wish fulfillment, though fictionalized, you know, uh, an alternate history by bringing back Hitler. I think and I believe that we try to uh, really deliver a sense of justice, uh, vengeance, and and again, that, that catharsis. Mm -hmm. What went through the whole process for the second season and into the storyline? Like, how long did it take you to put all the pieces together? It's so funny. You know, before even season one came out, I was right episodes for season two, um, but then COVID hit, right? And so we had a very long and prolonged and extended writing process and writing period. And it allowed for a lot of reflection, a lot of experimentation, um, and really, I think, helped us all discover uh, that season two felt like a very fitting conclusion uh, to the series uh, writ large. Well, was it always the plan, two seasons, that's it? You know, it, it certainly wasn't always the plan, but I always knew the story that I wanted to tell and when that should end. And in beginning to write season two, it felt like, yeah, this is the right moment, you know, to get to this place where we actually hunt Hitler, where we are able to bring him to justice. We look at the world around us. Uh, and I think that catharsis, that wish fulfillment is needed now more than ever. This story mm -hmm. is more urgent than ever. And so I just did not want to prolong that. I was told to ask you, any possible plans for spinoffs, movies, prequels? <laughs> What are we looking at? Yeah, I, I hope any and all of the above. I mean, the, the Hunter's world is so rich. You know, we have a podcast series coming out. We have these incredible uh, mini episodes that will drop beforehand. We have a great Lonnie Flash trailer for his fictional film, Eight Ways to Shabbat, where he plays a Jewish hitman trying to uh, kill eight people before sundown. Um, but both the actors and the characters within this, this world and this universe are just so colorful and rich. And so to work with any of them or continue their stories would be a, an absolute dream come true. So stay tuned for that. That's amazing. Uh, I want to thank you by uh, giving me a few minutes today, January 13th. I can't wait for everybody to watch it. Uh, thank you again. Thank you so much, Elias. Thank you. Thank you.